outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Since we've no place to go. Hello everyone, it's Denise at Something Beautiful Handcrafts and welcome to my basement sink. Uh, I pre-soaked this skein because it's got cellulose fibers in it and I just wanted to make sure it was going to perform well. I'm using the Jacquard Periwinkle and if you see that little spot down here on the uh, sink, it's blue and it's red and so that Periwinkle breaks really nicely but of course if I want it to break, I have to put the water in before, cold water in before the hot water. So I emptied all of the warm water that I was using and I'm just going to add this in. And can you see the color change already? It looked blue before. I add the cold water and it's starting to break. Okay. So now I'm going to add a little vinegar in. And this is a good time to ask me why vinegar and not citric acid. And that's because I can just go to Walmart and pick up vinegar. And that's the only reason why. Citric acid to me is a lot more efficient and doesn't smell like vinegar. So that's basically the only reason why. Uh, I don't measure how much vinegar I put in there. I just kind of eyeball it. So we've got some really nice breaking going on here. Now I'm going to go upstairs and get the hot water and pour it in. Uh, Jacquard recommends the water is, let me see, I thought it was like 180 degrees, something like that. Yes, 180 degrees, so it's near boil. Uh, normally, too, I don't worry about that because I'm in the crock pot, but today the dogs are inside and they've been moved into the room where I store my wool. Yes, I know. And so... Uh, at the moment, it's all this wool and them and their crates. So I didn't want to plug up the crock pot and have something hot and electric in the room yet. So I get a chance to reorganize that stuff and kind of move it out the way. So no crock pot. I'm just going to put it in this pan in the sink and call it a day. Come back in a little bit, probably in like 15 minutes, and see basically how much uh, this uh, the take up has been. Uh, and it'll be really quick, especially if the temperature's just right. It will take up this dye within a matter of minutes. The hot water's in. It looks like it's steaming like crazy because the basement is cold. So this will take a, just a little bit. And this water should be clear, I mean, pretty soon. You can pretty much already see on that far corner where it's starting to clear up a bit. And I'm not going to do anything to it to encourage or discourage uh, the process here because I don't actually want an even yarn. I want it to be uneven and variegated. So I put that piece of paper behind there because it seems to make the balance the light in the camera better so you can actually see how this turned out uh unfortunately i haven't quite figured out how to fix that yet but i'll describe it to you okay so this right here looks like a dingy gray it's really more like a lavender color you know if i move it around yeah now you get a better idea of what that looks like as i move it around then there are some places here that are basically an indigo, very much like an indigo. And the rest of it is kind of like blue jeans. That's better. I think it turned out pretty well. There are a few flecks in this skein that aren't really visible on the video where you can see the red where the skein broke. Oh, that's a nice contrast right there. The blue, the lavender, the purple. That's a really good contrast right there. Uh, I can't really get the flakes to show up, but there, there's a few red flecks in there. This will be a really nice pair of socks to go with a blue jean skirt.
Okay, pretty much that's it. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, you know what? My dye processes for the most part are not all that complicated. I like to try to keep it simple, as simple as I possibly can uh, with very simple colorways and not a lot of hands-on fuss as far as dyeing is concerned. For me, the real work goes into the spinning and also into the, you know, creation of the item. That's where I put the great deal of my effort in. All right. Merry Christmas. Talk to you soon.